Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Wednesday, October 7th, 2009. Well, the markets are muted today, very, very muted, very, very small losses across the board, except for the NASDAQ, which is bucking the trend up about a point and a half. But even that is pretty much on the flat line. The Dow is down 29 points. The S&P is down a half point. So you're really seeing a very quiet market, which is what we had talked about to our premium subscribers is happening today ahead of a key level uh, being tagged on the markets. Now, we talked about that in yesterday's video to the premium guys as well, where to go short, what to look for on the short side of the market. Uh, now, again, we took those profits off the table on the dump yesterday. Yesterday. And again, there you can see a little area right up here against the 106 level being a good shorting opportunity and the cover spot at the 50 moving average. Then off of that, basically what you've gone into is a hibernation mode here in the markets. And really, again, to note the technical side of things, you're just hovering here between two major levels. And the major levels can be seen as the key retracement level down here at around uh, 105.15. And then the upper level here at the 106 level, just around this upper dotted lines, these two dotted lines, that's your upper resistance area on the charts. Again, after two big up days, the market's kind of coming into a very, very much of a pause type day so far. And again, the volume has gotten very light. In fact, look at the heavy volume early on, and the market was very volatile. Now look at the volume later in the day, extremely light. Remember, when it's extremely light, the markets have a tendency to just be sideways, especially off of a two big updates, to be sideways. Uh, again, even possibly slightly lower like we're seeing today across the board, except for the NASDAQ. Now. What are you looking for here, guys? What's going on? Did we have any economic news today? For the most part, there was no economic news today. The key today was the oil inventory numbers that came out at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And I'll show you the chart of the USO, which is the oil uh, ETF. And you can see, here's where the oil inventories came out. You had a nice dump, then a nice bounce, and then the oil chart really rolled over. And that's kept this market under wraps today. If this oil was positive on that report, you can say that the market should be or would be positive, and that would be true. You would see that upticking because you'd have strength in you know, various stocks like uh, ExxonMobil, which is down just 26 cents, but that, I'm sure, would be up again, and so forth. So you can see, nice, after a big, big move on oil the last couple days, oil has come in, now down 81 cents on the USO. In fact, a little bit of a bearish pattern development here, which we can watch to see if that plays out to the downside ever so slightly. I don't think it's a major player to the downside. I wouldn't really be looking to short that because the market has already on oil has already fallen too drastically to really be looking for anything major on that downdraft. All right, so that's just one thing to go over. The other big kicker today, guys, is the UUP. The UUP started to the upside and then kind of fell down and kind of was choppy. And see the choppiness of this UUP chart? And again, I'll draw on it. You have the up move, the down move, the up move, the down move, and then kind of just sideways going. That choppiness translated into the markets. And again, I just want to reiterate and show you again here. Just notice the up, down, up down movement in the markets or in the oil chart excuse me the UUP dollar chart here and then what I want you guys to just kind of follow is the choppiness here on the chart look at this up down up down up down so you see that choppiness as the dollar is chopping around you're seeing the direct opposite happen to the markets and then all of a sudden what did we just show you we said the markets have gone into sleeper mode here why is that because the UUP has gone into sleeper mode here now interestingly enough the UUP has started to downtick and you want to see if that's going to have a direct response to the markets here on the upside and again watch very closely to see now if we're going to see any sort of pushing up in the markets as the UUP is downticking ever so slightly here in the the afternoon early afternoon session now let's talk about some technical levels here I'm gonna quickly erase these lines because I want to focus purely on the lines of technical resistance and support lines for you guys the aft in the afternoon but again just to reiterate you do want to come join that research center off of the key calls we've made just of late uh, massive amounts of profits being put in the pockets by a lot of the premium members who took the trades over the just over the last four or five week week uh, in time just on those calls alone. Again, Research Center, premium hot charts and alerts is included. Uh, daily and nightly videos of 40 minutes in length on technicals, daily market report, uh, hot charts and alerts, pro trader watch list, hidden gems. Again, I posted a new hidden gems uh, yesterday for everyone to do go off of. And again, the last hidden gems have reported anywhere between really about 35 to 500 percent returns consecutively. Haven't had a loser on those hidden gems in about, oh, I don't know, eight months. I mean, it's been an unbelievable ride really since we started those. They've been all off the charts and just running like crazy on those hidden gems. All right. So again, go join the research center. That's where it's at. But again, to watch for your levels today, you'll have a minor resistance level right here at 104. 
105.65. If you get through that, the big level is going to come into play at 105.95 and then at 106.10. Those are your big levels up here. Why? Because that was the top today, so that would be a double top. And if you got above that, you're going to hit a double top from yesterday. So technically speaking, those levels will be your keys to watch this afternoon. This one right here is an okay level, but it's been chopped through so many times that it's not nearly what it used to be. Downside support. The big level here is your blue line. Blue line at 105.35. That's your big uh, area to watch. You need to close below it and confirm it. I want to just point this out. I talk to the premium members oftentimes about confirmation and how rare it is to see confirmation or when you don't get confirmation, how amateurs don't realize that and they go short. But look at this. Down move. We close below that blue line. Do you confirm it? No. Why? Because to confirm it, you have to close below. The next candle has to close below the tail or the bottom of the previous candle below the breakdown line. Notice how this one doesn't do that. You have a big reversal candle here. Then over here, down below, we close again. Do we, do we confirm it? No, you have another reversal. Here we do again, reversal again. So I want to point that out, that you're seeing this type of activity happen over and over again, and that's basically alluding to the fact that you have never successfully confirmed a breakdown below this blue line today. Now, if you take that out, then your next spot is going to be right here. Why? Because that's the low of the day, so you're talking about a double bottom from today. If you take that out, you're going to look to this yellow line down here at 104.70. Why? Because that is is double bottom, triple bottom from yesterday's two bottom points on the market, plus its gap window. That will be a very, very good level to watch, all right? So again, these are the technical spots you want to watch for the afternoon session. And guys, just a reminder, I go over the intraday 10-minute chart here only because the premium guys are the ones that get the 60-minute, the daily, the weekly, the monthly on oil, on the dollar, on gold, on the SPY here, and really projections out major calls, intraday trades, trading, uh, swing trades, day trades, investments, and so forth. That's all included in the nightly videos that I put out 40 minutes in length. I mean, it's 40 plus minutes usually in nightly video. So it's a lot of data that you have a lot to find from and a lot to learn from, guidance, education, all that stuff included, and calls. So again, that's all in the Research Center. Come join us there. We'll see you soon, folks. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Enjoy. Talk to you soon.